Kind of a key move there early in this game. Sidestep three by Jalen Brown. Rebounded by Tobias Harris. Here's the guy that really has to start finding his way offensively for the 76ers. Right now underperforming at the offensive end and missing right at the rim. Symbolic of the issues he's had so far. Because Smart, now they switch Kemba on to him. Cantor in that drop coverage, and that's a good sign for the 76ers. Inside to Cantor, little jump hook. And Harris with the rebound. Tobias Harris with one field goal in the game. He's got three points. But you're getting a lot of the way down through this first quarter with Tice sitting on the bench, and you're still even with the Sixers. And speaking of the Sixers, Tobias suffered his season-ending knee injury. Here's Tatum against Richardson. Little mid-range. And one and done for the Celtics. Tobias Harris has five points. Great crossover. Oh, he dropped Langford. McMullen wrote a piece for ESPN.com the other day in which she mentioned that Kemba Walker said that he is just the gatekeeper for this team and looked at the two young stars, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, and said, really, I'm just keeping the seat warm for them. This is their team, and I'm fine with that. But his teammates had a little something. One, Harris playing much better at the offensive end in this game with nine points. The long two is just off the rim. Celtics up by a bucket. Burks guarded by Smart. Tobias Harris for three straight away. And he's had a couple of good looks. Just won't fall. Working against Jason Tatum. Harris gets it back on the repost. He can make you pay in the post, but not this time. Tatum with a nice defensive play and comes up with the key is what happens in those final 24 minutes. Especially the game's final possessions. Little catch and shoot three. Tobias Harris is pure. Tice throws it away to Milton. Sixers have numbers the other way. A catch and shoot on the way, and Harris put it on the front rim. Wow. Last time it happened, Arbitus Sabonis was playing in the league. No kidding. Like, think about how long ago that was. That's going way back. 76ers have missed 11 of their last 12 field goal attempts. Embiid with a post up. Now a double team from Tice. Embiid going to let the three fly. And Tatum with the rake. Tobias Harris. Harris with a tough turnaround. Got it to fall. Two different players. They feel the absence of Ben Simmons oh, right now for no the 76ers. Question. You know, really in terms of pace and defensively, Harris inside. That's going to be a whistle and a blocking foul. It's frustration. Yeah. 76ers scrapping down by four. Burks. Tobias Harris inside. Foul. Here's Tobias Harris. He hasn't scored since suffering that injury that forced him to miss the game. And he hits the nice mid on his regular season average. Tatum trying to get downhill on Richardson. Splits the double. And he smoked the layup, but he was fouled. The Sixers. You didn't arrive at this place this season. I think you have to look at your organization from top down. And we always talk, and the 30 guys who take the head coaching positions in the NBA know the deal. They yep. know where the scapegoat often falls to them. Yep. But man or one decision. Like you said, and the financial implications of the investment in Horford in particular. Tobias Harris and the for whatever it's worth, the decision was made not to have him come back. Here's Harris from the corner. As you watch Jimmy Butler close out or on the brink of closing out a series. Looking very much like the playoff closer he was last year for this 76er team. Here's Harris on the baseline, rattles it in. Landry Shamit showed you some.